Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. DSB issues safety warning to Transport Canada. NASA announces landing site for Mars 2020 rover. And ACJ 320 NEO takes to the skies. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's November 21st and this is Airborne Unlimited. The Canadian Transportation Safety Board has issued a letter to Transport Canada concerning the in-flight breakup of a Quad City Challenger II advanced ultralight aircraft. That resulted in the fatal injury of the pilot in July. The TSB determined that the bracket securing the right front lift strut to the fuselage failed while in flight as a result of metal fatigue. The failure caused the right wing to separate from the aircraft. According to the report, the bracket had accumulated 402.2 hours when the failure occurred. The fatigue crack began at the bolt hole, and a significant number of secondary and parallel cracks were found underneath the surface of the bracket. In the letter, the TSB says, it is in the process of examining a number of strut attachment brackets from other Quad City Challenger 2 aircraft. So far, 22 brackets have been examined and 8 have been found to have cracks. The time and service of the cracked brackets range from 41 to 830 hours, according to the letter. The TSB said in the letter that it encourages your organization to take the necessary steps to reduce the likelihood that the bracket failure identified in this occurrence reoccurs. The TSB would appreciate being advised of any action that is taken in this regard. After the break, UK to double F-35 fleet with 17 more jets ordered. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We our Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website, our podcast, just email to niche by at aero niche.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. The UK is set to double its number of world-beating F-35 stealth jets after ordering 17 more aircraft, Defense Secretary Gavin Williamson announced. The 17 new F-35B aircraft will be delivered between 2020 and 2022 and will complement the 16 British aircraft currently based at RAF Marham and in the U.S., as well as two additional aircraft which are already on order. Overall, the U.K. is committed to procure 138 aircraft over the life of the program. SpaceX has apparently rethought its plans to make the second stage of Falcon 9 reusable in favor of accelerating development of its big Falcon rocket, known in the company as BFR. SpaceX founder Elon Musk announced the change of plans in a tweet. BTW SpaceX is no longer planning to upgrade Falcon 9's second stage for reusability, accelerating BFR instead. New design is very exciting, delightfully counterintuitive. Northrop Grumman Corporation successfully launched an Antares rocket carrying the SS John Young Singa spacecraft, Saturday from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport, Pad 0A, 
on Wallops Island, Virginia at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. The launch marks Northrop Grumman's 10th cargo mission, carrying vital supplies to the astronauts aboard the International Space Station for NASA. Flight Safety International is launching MissionFit, a new advanced technology interactive training system. The design and development of MissionFit was led by a cross-function team of simulation engineers, courseware developers, and training delivery experts, based on input from Flight Safety's commercial and military customers. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. NASA has chosen Jezero Crater as a landing site for its upcoming Mars 2020 rover mission after a five-year search, during which every available detail of more than 60 candidate locations on the Red Planet was scrutinized and debated by the mission team and the planetary science community. The rover mission is scheduled to launch in July 2020 at NASA's next step in exploration of the Red Planet. It will not only seek signs of ancient habitable conditions and past microbial life, but the rover also will collect rock and soil samples and store them in a cache on the planet's surface. NASA and the European Space Agency are studying future mission concepts to retrieve the samples and return them to Earth. So this landing site sets the stage for the next decade of Mars exploration. Jezero Crater is located on the western edge of Isidus Planitia, a giant impact basin just north of the Martian equator. Western Isidus presents some of the oldest and most scientifically interesting landscapes Mars has to offer. Mission scientists believe the 28-mile-wide crater, once home to an ancient river delta, could have collected and preserved ancient organic molecules and other potential signs of microbial life from the water and sediments that flowed into the crater billions of years ago. After these messages, ACJ-320neo takes to the skies for the first time. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. The first ACJ 320 Neo successfully completed a two hour and 40 minute first flight from Hamburg on November 16th, getting its short test program off to a good start. Derived from the popular A320 airliner family, some 500 of which are in airline service, the corporate jet version includes features such as extra fuel tanks in the cargo hold that will deliver even more intercontinental range plus greater cabin pressure for better passenger comfort. These features are being tested before delivery of the aircraft to Acropolis Aviation in the coming months. The aircraft will then undergo cabin outfitting by Almac in Basel, Switzerland, and be repainted in customer colors. The ACJ-320 family now comprises the ACJ-319neo, flying eight passengers, 6,750 nautical miles, or more than 15 hours, and the ACJ-320neo, flying 25 passengers, 6,000 nautical miles, or more than 13 hours. Well, that's our program for today. Due to the Thanksgiving holiday, there will be no AMA Joan report tomorrow and no Airborne Unlimited on Friday. Regular scheduling will resume next week with Airborne Unlimited on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Joan report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. 
Happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next week.